from his own bucks now. I think the Young Bucks maybe is just as surprised as anybody. They might not have been in the loop, the Bucks here, what Adam Cole had in mind. Said he had, you said he said he had a surprise. Now look at the Bucks. So after teaming up with Von Wagner for a few weeks in the new NXT 2.0 and having Von Wagner try to turn on him at War Games and then losing to Von Wagner in a steel cage match in his last match in WWE, Kyle O'Reilly is all elite as he has reunited with his former undisputed members Adam Cole and Bobby Fish. And he has obviously turned heel in AEW as he helped Adam Cole who is also his former rival back in NXT win his match against Orange Cassidy. And back in their NXT days both Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly had a great feud and he had a series of matches as they faced off at NXT Stand and Deliver, NXT Great American Bash and finally NXT TakeOver 36 which was also Adam Cole's last match in the WWE before joining AEW. And they have reunited in all elite wrestling as before Redrick Strong joined, it was first Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish. And Undisputed Era is definitely one of the greatest factions in the history of the WWE. And obviously, fans were wondering how WWE were going to book them in the main roster, but then they broke up in NXT, had a great feud, then all three of them joined all elite wrestling. So what do you think about the Undisputed Era reuniting in All Elite Wrestling and also Kyle O'Reilly reuniting with them and obviously being presented as a heel within the company? Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe for more wrestling news, rumors and opinions.